Welcome one and all to another no. episode of Extra Extra Cast Ranger. We have it, it's, it's literally just you and me in this room. Yeah. Uh, if only we no, had some I, assistance from outer space. I'm right here. I'm oh. right here. Whoa. Skies. I didn't. I didn't realize that was the sound of. Well, that's what cancer sounded like. Oh. Ooh. Wow. Where the you know what? You can make fun of my cancer. All you want, but at least I'm not a filthy retard like you. I'm autastic, as Ichi calls it. Starting on a high note today. Jeez. <laughs> I well, we can only go up from here. No, so because Mer Mercury Caster's alive. Noble, yes. now it's your turn to say something to tell everyone that you're here. Hi, I'm Noble. <laughs> <laughs> Nailed it. I have nothing witty to say. Well, work on it. That's it. Someone write a fanfiction between me and Lane. I'm on top. Ew. <laughs> God, no. I don't even believe that in the context of the fic. That's in my headcanon, okay? Well, fire your Is headcanon. Is that what you call your dick? Yes. Headcanon fire. <laughs> oh, my God. Critical <laughs> Feeny! <laughs> All right. We got some news to talk about. Lordy. Talk about, talk about some Bang Bang simulations. <laughs> oh, yeah, baby. Oh, give it to me. So, as is typical style with motherfucking tokusatsu, all the interesting news happens the day after we record the week before, because fucking fuck's sakes, the minute the series ended, they announced a trilogy of Eggs 8 V Cinemas. Oh, yeah, holy fuck. Like, I found out this information and saw the trailer, and I actually, like, I was at my girlfriend's house, but I called Ichi to be like, dude, three x 8 V Cinemas! And I actually like full on fan squeal. Me too. You know, we still didn't get the we still didn't get the, didn't get the last B cinema for for uh, for Gaim. Yeah. Bravo, grid on. Bravo, grid on. Sadly, I doubt that's gonna happen. Probably no, not. it's never gonna happen now. But it would be nice. I wanted the yeah, what I really community. like. Bravo. I, I'd like to see what new form they give Bravo. Yeah, they'll just give him banana arms. Durian energy arms. Give, give him a different pineapple. So wait, Durian energy arms? So he just shoots out like his swords as arrows? Sure. <laughs> I mean, that'd be something different. I'd like <laughs> to see that, actually. Um, yeah, so for these three cin V Cinema exit movies, we're getting uh, Brave and Snipe, uh, Paradox of with course. Poppy, and Laser vs. Genmu. What's really interesting about these three movies is that they have different terms for pairing up the two riders, each of the riders. It's Brave and Snipe, Paradox with Poppy. Which literally all the Emu and Poppy shippers are fucking enraged. And Genmu versus Laser. Which the funny thing is about the Paradox one, I like the day after I saw someone shop the Paradox poster so that instead of Poppy, it's Exaid. Yeah, that was cute. <laughs> I actually like, uh, I like Paradox uh, in, that, in that poster. He looks cool. I love so, all three of these posters. Oh yeah, they're great. So if Paradox is if Paradox fuses back with uh, Emu, does all the memories of him plowing Poppy go into Emu's mind? Maybe. Well, I mean, it's, it's entirely it's, possible. There's been I no mean, there's been no evidence the entire series to suggest that while Palad is part of Emu, that they share memories. Otherwise, yeah, Emu would have like gotten some flashbacks of when. Palad was just hanging out by himself with Graphite. But he does. But that would have been him, boring. He does tell him things like how to play and beat video games. That's why he's really well, good at. Well, that's that. different. Tensei well, no, that's, Gamer that's M. More, we, that's more Palad taking over. Yeah, there, there's been a lot of evidence since to support the idea that Palad is not M. He just spawned M as a byproduct of his own existence. So no. the gamer persona inside of Emu is technically a separate thing from Palad. It was just caused by Palad. Hmm. We've been over I this know, a bunch. I know Graphite mentioned that he has all of Saki's memories. But that's only turned into which it's turned only she's dead. A, well, yeah. Which turned into a great comic where it's just Graphite emotionally scarred as he's imagining Hero fucking him. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> that one, yes. That God. One yep. <laughs> Put so, that in the episode, Chris. Love to I'm know. Editing. Love to know that our uh, guys in general chatter. Uh, on point today. Oh, they oh, always they're are. always on point. It's great. So, the three <laughs> movies are actually coming out pretty close together. Uh, Brave and Snipe is coming out March 28th, 
of 2018. Paradox with yeah. Poppy is coming out April 11th, and Genmu vs. Laser is April 25th. Uh, all three and films. And then at six months. Uh, all three films will be sold DVD and Blu ray, uh, <laughs> with the second part, uh, Paradox with Poppy, to include the DX God Maximum Mighty X Gashet. Oh my god! Oh, I, right I am so fucking happy with this. I will fucking oh. buy this. Oh my. Like, cause actually, months ago, someone took him. Mighty, um, Maximum, Maximum Mighty, Mighty X, X Gashet and turned into, like, a Genmu one and actually made, like, the continue pipe uh, on him. But this is, like, fantastic, and I love that it's called God Maximum, Mighty Maximum. I, I know I said a while back that if they ever did make a Genmu version of this, I'd buy it, and I will. Oh, I just... Mm. So now, the question becomes, if Genmu's gonna get this, is he gonna get his own version of Muteki Gamer? And I have, or he can, or he can use Matuki Gamer. And I, I have a, I have my own pitch on what that form should be called. The name of the form should be Techie Gamer because that will make him Common Rider Genmu Techie Gamer. That would be pretty clever. Because Techie means enemy. There you go. I cannot wait. I though. can Japanese pun. Mm-hmm. Well, at least it's better than some of your normal ones. Mm. I step up my game when I'm on the air. Wow. All right. If you want to call it that to let you sleep we, better, we, we, I we go can, for it. We can debate that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, actually, wait, wait, wait. I have a funny uh, joke picture that I found funny like, on a tweet related to this. Joke. So someone made a, a tweet uh, about the uh, V Cinemas. Comrade Rider X8 Season Pass will bring you exclusive gadgets, new maps, <laughs> challenges, and brand new story content. I mean, these movies basically are DLC. Yeah. They even look like. like those DLC like cover pictures that you see like yeah. when you download them. So I'm, I'm excited Ex that X8 is still continuing and that Toei's Yay! like yeah no we'll we'll give you as much more X8 shit as you want. And you know what this could mean? Mm -hmm. Maybe Snipe will get that final form he deserves. Oh yeah. for sure. Come you know, we'll just use Bang Bang Tank. No, I really hope that Snipe gets uh, gets his level 100 form is an ion beam in space. This <laughs> <laughs> is I. Activating ion laser. No, I, I remember. No, a lot you know, you know what his level one hundred will be just because it needed to happen. It'll, it'll just be a freaking Gundam game. Yeah. Well, I mean, technically, you could say Geki Totsu Robots is that. I wow. mean that too. I mean like. That, that's I more mean like yeah. Steel. My other idea for Snipe's final form is Bang Bang Invasion, where he could, like like a Star Fox dog fighting game in space, so he could just like. Control a team of spaceships for his attacks. I was just cool. I was just thinking of uh, Galaga. I wonder if Brave will get anything. Hopefully, not that he needs anything new. Brave yeah. level two hundred. Maybe bang Bra bang Death Star. Maybe Brave level one hundred will actually <laughs> fucking do something interesting. Maybe he can fuse like Tattle Fantasy and Legacy into one form. Tattle Tale. We uh Maybe. we kind of we kind of did talk about Tattle that, Legacy like, of yeah. Fantasy or something. Maybe he'll cast off the marble and it'll have like fucking solid gold for the Ooh, armor. Ooh, that's a good no, idea. Don't all fucking like marble. No, don't do a cheap gold repaint. That'd be stupid. Because we all know because, that gold is such a great material to make armor. Because writers out of. never yeah, done that before. Yeah, Mutaki is the Muzeki. Mutaki. Mutaki. Momotaros is the best form. That's almost the. Mubani. That's almost episode name worthy. Mutaki. We'll, we'll see. Uh, speaking of upcoming DLC for Exaid, Kamen Rider Exaid Urawaza, Kamen Rider Paradox spin-off announced, which I is going to Paradox logo, which is going to bridge the gap between the end of the series and this trilogy. Okay. Uh, so we're looking at promotional images for it, and there's going to be a new gash, a new double gashet. Knockout Fighter Two. They made a what? sequel. A Wait. sequel gashet. Shut up. There's a new double gashet. No, no, Dual. as, as no, two, no, two the, slotted. it is two called slotted. double because it's like it's the same type of gashet as Mighty Brothers. Okay, there's a it difference between the double balls. gashets and the dual gashets. <laughs> you just damn it. What? Sorry, I said you your double gashet. Sorry, I said your trigger word. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so the this Telebikun Super Battle DVD will have Exade and Paradox work together in s super co op play. They are challenging a game created by Dan to solve a hidden mystery in a labyrinth and rescue the captured Poppy. 
So Emu and Pallad team up to use this form, which is very obviously a reskin of Pac-Man, Pac-Adventure Gamer. Wait, wait, wait. So they're going to rescue Poppy? Yeah, she gets trapped inside a labyrinth inside of a game that Dan makes. So I wonder if they're going to fight uh, whoever gets to her first gets, gets, gets her in the end. I hope that's... And then that's why P Pallad wins, and that's why the Paradox with Poppy movie Wouldn't happens. it be hilarious if this is one of those types of battle DVDs that has multiple endings, and you can pick which one? x is the villain of the Paradox with Poppy movie, because x wants Poppy for himself. I mean, if you look at this one shot of him holding Knockout Fighter 2, he looks kind of villain-like. Oh my god, that'd be amazing. <laughs> if, and, Poppy's if, mine! They just have an epic duel in the rain. If... But what happens if, like, Emu actually has sex with Poppy, but Poppy has an STD? Does he get a computer virus? She is an STD. <laughs> yeah, that, 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 that's Fair enough. Cool. Anyways, uh, I, anyways, I don't like Knockout <laughs> Fighter 2 really that much, because... God damn it, Blaze in our chat is like, whoever wins gets her people poo poo pregnant. That's it, you get renamed. I, you know, I swear, with all the uh, jokes that we're making with X Aid, the show should just be called Sex Aid and just get over it. Sex Aid? Why so have we never thought of that? Because we were complacent Because we were complacent I, I, I with X Aids. That that's honestly, that's gotta be the title of this episode. I'm sorry. Sex Aid? Sure. <laughs> Might as well be. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. With all the jokes we've been making. You know why you um, haven't had that many sexual jokes until oh. now? No, I know there. I, I know there's a meme here. picture. I haven't somewhere. been on the show in a long time. I know there's a <laughs> meme picture somewhere. It needs to be like um no. Okay, the thumbnail has to be that like current picture with like the guy looking over at the other girl, oh, the yeah. girlfriend. So oh, like meme? the guy, the guy looking over at the girl has to be Paradox, and the uh, girl that he's looking at is Poppy, and then the girlfriend is Xane. <laughs> That's got to be the thumbnail. I can do that. Yes. Because that picture is amazing. You can use it for almost anything. I did. I made my own one of that earlier. Anyways, so uh, this more details regarding this upcoming special will be released in the October issue of Telebikun, which is releasing September first. So it's out now. Um, so Paradox, the special will lead into the three-part V Cinema, and there's no date on when this actually comes out yet. But we'll find out on the next issue of Telebikun. Next. Uh oh, Discord's fucking up again. I can't what? hear any. Oh, there we go. No, no one's saying That's anything. Why. God damn it! <laughs> no, it's good. No, it's because I'm seeing like names light up, and then I just uh, think you guys are saying something, but you're not. Because we're breathing, Lane. Yeah, more or less. Yeah. <laughs> I'm drinking. Because I'm not... we live. <laughs> I don't. I, I don't breathe into my mic. I drink into my mic. Anyways, move on. I, I, I pour my pop into my mic and then slurp the mic. Like oh, it's I'm drinking whiskey. Fuck penis. you. Whatever. Drunk, drunk David's gonna be oh, here. Oh yeah. Soon. Well then, I'll drink pop. Oh yeah. Well then. Because uh, that joke will never eight die. Years nope. later, when this bit's finally dead. Oh, it will never die. Uh -huh. It will Take never. That, that yeah, bit no, dying no. requires me to stop drinking pop, and that's not fucking happening. Crunch man, you say that like we haven't already been doing it for eight years. <laughs> <laughs> I know, you've been doing that it a long time. That joke predates Cast Ranger. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Uh, I just made it better. Exate's actor Hiroki Ijima does an actual baton pass to Kyle Rider build Atsuhiro Inukai. It's not Persona like legit, 5 ones, they had a baton. <laughs> That's adorable. And, and the fun part about this is the baton, like, Emu's end of it is pink and yellow, where Build is ye is red and blue. That's cute. It's, it's actually their colors. That's God, adorable. just, like, look at the two of them together. Just look how different they both are. They're such a cute couple of riders. I can't believe they're breaking up! Wait, is Seiji... <laughs> <laughs> them with the flowers! Is Seiji Takaiwa in both suits right now? <gasps> I guess he's the real Mighty Brothers. Oh my god. Can't wait to fucking no, no, Lane. He's not in the suits. He's in the baton. Ah! Ah! He's in the flowers. Why is the suit so droopy? Which one? Like the second photo. Why is X Aid's suit so droopy? And why does he have such a defined package? Because they, the <laughs> suits, those suits were always designed to be loose fitting because they're oh, based on shorts. You want to see a really nice package? Nope. Fucking look at the creator picture. Nope. <laughs> 
<laughs> In addition, during the event's talk show, Ijima spoke about portraying a doctor while Inukai speaks about fighting using physics. <laughs> yeah. Well, the only physics I can think of when you're fighting someone is like, I punch him, he fall down, physics! <laughs> As for no, advice... No, 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 calculating the vectors of the attack, yeah. uh, all that kind of crap. At what angle should my punch go? Straight! What? What angle do I need to use to send him the maximum amount of distance backwards? He's just the gonna same? Sherlock every single punch. He better fucking not. You know what? I swear to God, if he does. <laughs> if he I... does that with every single one. No, you I'm... know what he's gonna do? He's gonna do it for his rider kick. That's what I was about to say, yeah. Just, so, just uh, his rider kick's gonna start with that meme, so it's just all the mathematical calculations yes. floating around his head. Yes. He just, I'm gonna no, kill you, know you with is? math! You know what it is? He pulls an action man. Oh, oh gosh, I remember Check that show. Check it out. Show. Dial it in. Amp it up. Action man. I remember that show. <laughs> that show was great. Anyways, as for advice to his successor, Ijima told Inukai to take care of his transformation pose, stating that while you're moving, it's important to look good. I mean, I guess. Rule of cool. That's sort of something you should already know as a, as a heroic actor. But anyways, that's cute. Moving on. So, now that we've moved from Exit to Build, uh, the TV version of the opening has leaked, or rather been put out. And it's amazing. I love this song so much. Dude! Lane! Can I please, for one second, just explain to you why every single time a new song comes out, it's your new favorite song? Ah, uh, McSight wasn't my favorite song. So fuck you, David. It just you couldn't... said You said... No, I you said, said I liked Excite. I never said it was my favorite writer song ever. And I'm not I'm saying this one's my favorite episode... writer song ever. I'm just saying I'm gonna... I love this song. There was no I'm... way it could be the one that he loves the most. Nothing will, be... gonna... Nothing will beat Switch On for me. Yeah, that's right. Of course they love her, bitch. <laughs> Anyways, this song is weird. Here's the thing. Like I, like I said when we first heard it, it sounds like it came out of DDR. The show opening is going to have to have some really neat looking visuals for me to be hooked on it. But, Fuck it, play the song right now! But I will say that I'm starting Please to get don't. used to liking the song because I'm listening to it objectively. Yep. But uh, I mean, anyone who wants to listen to it, you can check out Avex's official YouTube channel. They actually put out a music video for the TV size version. I mean, it's not a bad song. It just I feel like it doesn't fit. But then again, we'll have to That's, see how Bill yeah. plays out. Like I run. said, it sounds like from DDR, which doesn't really fit with it. But we haven't watched the show yet, so we'll fucking see. Yep. Um, okay. some information regarding the the singers. Uh. Pandora is a new project formed by TM Network producer Tetsuya Komura as well as Daisuke Asakura, who is a member of Access. Access is the group that Hiroyuki Takami, the guy who played Masamune, is also a vocalist for. Oh. Uh, the new unit will be will compose the song Be The One, while the new Avex Tracks artist Beverly is the one doing the vocals. She's great. Uh, also worth mentioning, Daisuke Asakura previously performed the first opening for Ultraman Orb The Origin Saga. Beverly has also performed for a recent J drama called Crisis. Crisis. Neat. Moving on. Mm -hmm. We have official images of the the gimmick series of build figures, the Bottle Change Rider series. I I know we talked about this before, but I wanted to bring this up now because the images are of such crisp detail that if you look at this one of the two pieces separated and zoom in real close to the tank section. It's pretty safe to say there's going to be no head articulation on that's these. That's a real turn off. Like, that's everything I've noticed about every build toy. There's something cool about it, but then there's just one thing that's a complete deal breaker for me, so... Like, like Star Wars. It's a cell! Northcaster, hello. hello. I'm want? here just to grab stuff. I'm so sorry. You motherfucker. Is am I on the air? Yep. Yeah. How oh my god! He, how dare uh, he be in this What's in this here? shit? Talking build. about build. Build looks awful. I don't know. <laughs> these right there. Look at them. What's the gimmick? Uh, inorganic orga and organic material. No, what's the gimmick of this one? Rabbit and tank. <laughs> That's a cool Boy. idea. That's a cool idea. I just take that gear. It's just a fast tank. So, you know, he has another form. It's Gorilla and Diamond, Hawk and Gatling, Ninja and Comic. 
That ninja and what? Comic. Comic. Why though? Oh, Lane. Thank you. I'm so sorry for interrupting. It's this, isn't it? Nope. <laughs> I know you're not sorry, and you know it. Ah, oh, you know I'm not sorry, baby. I don't need that. Oh, oh, you mother. See, trying to sabotage me. Like how I sabotage. Get your shit and Bill. get out! How I sabotaged Bill. Duh. No, Bill. That's what I'm calling it. Common Rider Bill. Bill! Bill! Uh, Bill! I mean, Bill! Bill Nye the Rider guy! Bill That's what we're gonna Nye open the first the discussion with next week. There you go. <laughs> and if I can, I'll be a part of that, but I probably won't. Don't build up our hopes. Well, that was Northcaster, everybody. And he thinks that build will be like every common writer ever. The same thing. Well, we talked about the writing Probably. of it. It's, it's posing to be something like the Showa series. Oh, that's good. Cell <laughs> doesn't care. <laughs> Anyways, you're interrupting. Move. No, I'm not. <laughs> I dare you point out facts. <laughs> so that happened. Leaving it in. Ugh. <sighs> <sighs> So, Ladies and gentlemen, the asshole has left. Oh, I'm talking about Gar. <laughs> uh, okay, so, so... Can I mention why I don't like these? this figure? Is it mm -hmm. because the belt has the colors of the... Of four yes, that's not it attached is. To? It is. I know, right? So Guy, funny. The Gaim Sengoku drivers were just silver. The shift cars weren't colored. The icon wasn't colored in the ghost driver. The what? Exactly. The bottles on the gimmick line are colored, which means that if it's not Rabbit Tank and you've mixed Rabbit with a different form, you still see a blue bottle on the belt, which means even less accurate. They could have easily just left the bottles non-colored. I'm assuming you can, like, probably remove the belt. So. I, I don't know. Maybe, I but like even... think you can. But if you can remove the belt, that's going to be a giant clusterfuck. Meh. Yeah. Because if you're removing the belt, does the rabbit bottle stay? Because it's the rabbit torso? Maybe. Maybe that's like, or, get or the maybe. belts from all the other figures and that's how you mix them up. I don't or know. maybe these are the really cheap fucking toys and they don't fucking matter. Well, they are the gimmick line. Well, yeah. Anyways, moving on. Oh, wait, before I, before I move on, I do have to say that when they're separated kind of just reminds me of the double rider kick within her. Yeah. Yes, we have yep. mentioned that when we first discovered the build design. Alright, next we have scans from Q-Ranger showing us Shishi Red Orion. Oh my god, so pretty, I love it! It does look like my favorite my looking thing and from I'm a Sentai away. ever. I'm so sorry. No, you're not. Yes, I am. My ear is now bleeding. Thanks no, a I, lot. No, I actually really hate when oh. I get overly loud. It's okay, bro. It's okay, uh, Lane. You're allowed to be wrong about what the best Sentai is, because it's not Gokai. I didn't say best Sentai. I said best Sentai-looking uh, thing from a Sentai. Like, so, in terms of a Red Ranger form. One thing I didn't notice about this form, based on the last time we looked at it, is the fact that the hair on each side of the helmet makes it into little spikes that go off the top of the helmet, and I think that looks really cool. Yeah, no, I love it. He has frickin' cat ears. I mean, if you choose to look at it that way. They whitewashed him and gave him cat ears. <laughs> they whitewashed they liter him? They literally whitewashed him, yeah. <laughs> I mean, look at it! He went from red to white. He they got whitewashed. A, they pulled a death note! <laughs> they pulled a Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why Q-Ranger sucks, because it's made by Hollywood. Wow. Um, and then, uh, something else we saw in this batch of scans <laughs> at the bottom, uh, apparently the true form of Don Armage. Ah. It's Brain! Back from the grave for revenge! In another show! Oh, he's got a giant scythe. Yeah. <laughs> in a completely wow. different series! It's Brain Gege! Reaper's Touch! No, well, I mean, it's not the worst thing I've ever seen. There's been worse. I, lo I love how he's about to die to a spirit bomb. <laughs> <laughs> That's clearly Frieza's death ball. It's not purple enough. Oh, God, I can't wait to see this form in action. All right, so, that looks cool. Can't wait to see it. Oh, yeah. Uh, yes. The wall's going to be as white as his outfit. Ooh. Next, Q-Ranger Blu-ray Collection, Volume 1, Additional Details Revealed. That's a pre-Blu-ray set. 
So, and it comes with a bunch of people jumping. Amazon Japan revealed more details revealing the title of the bonus manga and CD it comes with. Oh my god, look at those pictures. Key Ranger the Nine Shot. And <laughs> look this, at Garu! This really neat art of Lucky, Hammy, and Garu. Can we not? Yes, you're lucky! This is a really weird... This, like, I, this looks like a, like a fan fiction's like... Like a fan fiction like drawing that someone made. Yeah. And then yeah, they just the took it. What the hell is It this? looks like they just took it from D. There's even a hand! And look, there's a hand grabbing onto the green girl's hand that's cut off! <laughs> it probably unfolds. No, you know what it is? It, 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 this is volume one, so I bet if you so line up. Volume two other, is like the, the other, other ones? volumes, you line them up and they make the whole thing. Like, <laughs> I mean, considering that hand grabbing her, hers is light blue, I'm going to assume that's. Uh, Kotaro. That's the Kotaro right there. Yeah, maybe. There, I mean the rest. I mean the other three in the picture are their own colors. So the fact that it's light blue probably means that's yeah. who that is. So this bonus manga is titled "The Nine Shot Secret Talk," which features concept art and character designs of the series. The bonus CD is the cast reading the manga. <laughs> God. <laughs> Aside from this bonus manga, it also includes the Lucky Teaches Kutama dancing segment. Oh, oh my, my God. God. I need to see this uh, video. Because, of course, that had to happen at some point. <laughs> oh, clear. dear. The disc includes episodes 1 to 12 of the series, a talk session, press conference footage, creditless opening and ending sequences, and data and design files, and first press copies include an eight-page eight booklet and a box to house all the volumes. Ooh. So, Blu-ray Collection 1 costs 19,800 yen base price, Set for a September 13th release, and if so you desire it, fucking dollars. You can pre-order it. Welcome, now. welcome to the cost of Blu-ray sets in Japan. Oh. Yeah, God. that's nothing new. That that that's about what they sell for over there. Yep. For thirty cent fucking CDs. Pretty much. All right. Next. Speaking of Q Ranger, we have our first look at Q Ranger's candy toy figures, which we saw the prototype of previously. So, first up is Ho-Oh Soldier. Not terrible. Nope. Yeah, it's pretty neat. You know, Snipe can just shoot through that fucking shield because there's holes Ooh, in there it. There we go. Shishi Red Orion. <laughs> that looks pretty good. Yep. And then we have plain old Shishi Red. Yeah. I like the I like I like that the visor like is like a sticker, obviously, but it's really shiny. Yeah. It looks pretty. Uh, no other information regarding price or release dates has been put out yet, but we know that these three are happening. Cute. So they just shove a figure in a box with some candy. So wait, is that sword like Gaim's like miso saber? Well, it's not only a sword; it's also his transformation device. Oh god! He okay. puts the sword Think in the shield like and then pulls it out to transform. Okay. Right. Uh, are you talking about the Red Ranger's weapon or the Ho oh, Soldier? No, we're talking about the Red Ranger one. That's like the Dengasher on steroids. Oh. Okay. Oh, are you? Pretty much. Hold on. Are you talking about the top one or the bottom one? He's talking about bottom the, one. He's talking about okay, the no, yeah. weapon. The, the big blue sword in the image. That's just his weapon. And, yeah, and it's yeah, like it's it looks like the miso saber. Like it's, it is an interchangeable weapon that they literally, all of them have the exact same set of things that they build into different shit. It's, it's like the Dengasher, except it goes into nine different yeah. modes. Okay. Then gash on yeah. steroids. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah, and the Q shot is just the, the the handle. That still counts as a mode. It does. I like it. I like that they gave the Orion figure jazz hands. <laughs> <laughs> yep. like, yeah. Oh, uh Facecore says they're planned for December release. Thanks, Facecore. Thank you. Uh next. Denko Chojin Gridman Blu-ray box set unveiled. Ooh, AKA yeah. the source f footage for Superhuman Samurai Cyber Squad. Oh yeah, that was a fun time. Way uh, better show. Yeah. Um, Gridman was kind of boring. The, this Blu-ray box set has seven Blu-ray discs, which contains all 39 episodes. The set costs 32,900 yen and is set for a December 20th release. And you can pre-order it now. Don't forget, it costs zero if you get it from Pirate Bay. I will sit around and wait and hope somebody subs these. Yeah. Yeah. I'd watch these. That that said, the the existing sub of, of Gridman is already pretty fucking good quality. Oh yeah. right. I sat there and I'm like, holy shit, is this Blu-ray? And then I look it up and it's like, nope, that that didn't exist. 
That's some 60 frames ass 80s show. Right? Hmm. <coughs> Next. I mentioned this previously, but now it's actually launched. The Garage Heroes crowdfunding campaign for Strega is live. Uh, and so, don't forget to go to the description below and click on the link and subscribe to his channel. So, for those who don't know, Strega is the sequel to Gun Caliber, which is uh, created by the indie toku studio Garage Hero TV. Uh, yeah. So it's a sequel to Gun Caliber, but follows the same character, Soma Kusanagi. Uh, they are hosting an Indiegogo crowdfunding campaign to raise $10,000, which will run for a month. And they've already reached well over 20% of their goal. Um, for those who are interested, the upcoming sequel features more suits, which are designed by Gideon Go. Uh, these suits were made by former Rainbow Zokei member Daisuke Komatsu, who did work on Fies. Uh, the film's director and star, Bueno, has trained the veteran suit actor and Mr. Kamen Rider himself, Seiji Takaiwa. He studied CG from Kamen Rider's VFX team and has studied more, more about filmmaking with veteran tokusatsu director Koichi Sakamoto. So, uh, anyone who's interested in supporting some indie tokusatsu should check them out. And, uh, and don't just... forget that there's a lot of really nice actors in his shows, too. Yep, and uh, for those who are interested in learning more about Bueno, we actually did an interview with him. If you look up our first and only current episode of Nice Friendly Chat Ranger, we talked with him for a couple hours about his work. We'll put that in the description below. Mm -hmm. And that's about it for news. Man, he does a lot of fucking... He, the Garage Hero guy, he does a lot of, like, uh, episodes with porn actors. Yeah, that's... He's definitely been upfront about that. Yeah. And it, you know what? They, they're actually not bad. Like, if you think of, like, a porn actor doing a normal movie now, you'd be like, oh, God, I'm never going to see that. But you well, see that in Japanese stuff, and it's like, holy the, fuck. The bridge that has been built here is the fact that there's actually a lot, a surprisingly prolific amount of porn like toku themed porn apparently which i've discovered by talking to him yeah huh. it's good stuff yeah oh you know what we didn't talk about uh the fact that the form names for build were leaked from the hacked build driver i should pull that up oh yeah fuck man give this me a sec to pull that shit. up so I, I as much as uh i'd like to continue to listen to this conversation i'm gonna mute because i don't want spoilers Okay. So, you guys can tell me when you guys are done. I mean, we could always talk about it next week when Build airs, technically. Do we want to hold off on that or talk about it now? We can talk about it next week, actually. All right. That way we're because not by then it'll come up on my or... news feed. Yeah. All right, I guess that's it for extra, then. So long, everybody. This episode of Cast Ranger has been brought to you by the glorious donations of our cast patrons, Oliver Nelson, Joel Maroney, and Chris Laird. Thanks very much.